This is Twit. SE. What? How is it different from? Right. It has new. I got this one. It has a different wallpaper, Leo. <laughs> Excellent. It does. A very pretty <laughs> bloom with many colors. That's one reason. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Your snap assist grids, you know how you have that new feature? Mm -hmm. I, I forget what the actual name is. You only have two choices with this, with this version, two different side-by-side -side layouts. You have no widgets, which is a... To me, that's like, yes, no widgets. <laughs> <Yep>. like that. Um, <laughs> and the... The, when you open an app, it automatically opens single screen. So full, the whole idea apps. was to, yeah, yeah full yeah. screen. So they're trying to make this a simpler, cleaner, they also, say distra distraction-free environment, right? That's It's also goal. completely locked down, unlike Windows 10S, right. right? So yeah, basically this thing is centrally managed and the applications that your organization, in this case of school, uh, says you can have are the applications you can have. And that's it. It, it will right. run desktop apps. But you can't just go to the web and download it and install anything you want. You have to. And it, I think right. there's no Microsoft Store, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that right? great. There, that would make no. sense. You wouldn't want kids to be going downloading those fart apps or anything. Right. So <laughs> they. So, <laughs> so Microsoft's justification with no store is they say, you know what? The IT admins for schools didn't like the store no, and they yeah. want to curate their own That's set of right. apps. They also right. didn't mention they're phasing out the store for education. I was just going to say, so. they, I was just going to make a joke about that. So they'll be yeah. using the Microsoft store for education then. Right. <clears throat> the, the curated apps thing, this was another thing in the FAQ that was interesting. So they said, by the way, you can install Chrome, you can install Zoom. And I'm like, oh, so you can install anything. No, you can't. There's well, six categories of things yeah, you can install, yeah. right? browsers, content filtering app, test taking apps, like there's six distinct things. Right. So you can't like, even if you're the admin, you can't install YouTube, right? <laughs> like there, I there's preventions like, on what you can install. I, I, this feel, this seems like it was designed specifically so, because I think there'd be technical people who would see this thing and say, you know what? I'm going to run this because <laughs> I like how. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I said that. It is and, you know, and, I said and that like, to oh, Microsoft no, no, no. when they briefed yeah. me. I'm like, could I run this? I bet it runs Notepad no. really well. Mm -hmm. I know. They're like, no, Mary Jo, you can't well, run full this. Full screen. I it's hope you like full screen all the time. I do. I run, I run most does. of my things full screen. Yeah, you don't want this. You don't want widgets while you're writing. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I am a distraction free person. When I'm How on do something, you get I want to be on. Cosmo news when you're trying to write a story. <laughs> <laughs> is this, is, somebody's asking an interesting question in the chat room. Is this a netbook? Yes. Yeah, sure. New I netbook. Mean, Low end right? hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the sense that um, net uh, Chromebooks sort of took over for netbooks, and yeah, yeah this absolutely this, education at that price machines, point. Right? Yeah, these are like I said, Celeron processors, typically four, but maybe eight gigs of RAM. Uh, I think it was thirty two sixty four, let's say, or one twenty eight gigs of eMMC storage, which is slow. Non touch screen, super low resolution, plastic build. Yeah, this is a netbook. Hmm. Someone's asking in the chat room, um, iridescent ox, Parker. I know that name. <laughs> like, that's, that's an interesting uh, yeah, code word. Will Windows 11 SC support Android apps? And my first thing is, of course not. But then I'm like, wait, if you want to compete with Chromebooks, maybe. <laughs> I didn't see right. anything about that. So I'm going to guess. Me neither. Well, the problem is, of course, it's not there now, right? So right, maybe right. in a, a version they release next year, maybe. But they didn't yeah, mention maybe. that at all. Yeah. They did not. That didn't come up. Right. Mm -mm. Look, you're going to um, need more than RAM than that for Android apps, too. That's the other issue. Right, uh, right. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe they're education Android apps. They could do the same thing, just limit the apps you can get. and Yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah. Full screen, yeah. it'd be kind of tough on an Android app. Uh, it would. Yeah, that would right? be. On most, sure. a lot of them. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, very locked down. Um, but not as locked down as Windows in S mode, right? Um, uh, well, I actually not I think really it's more locked down. Really, you do. I would say let, let's put it this way: it's more configurable by the organization to be locked down. It's right. I, I you know, it's designed to be not, locked down by your school, but it's right. not as locked down by Microsoft arbitrarily saying you only can install things from the store. Here's an right? interesting question from Mister Huggy. Yeah. Okay. In the Discord, um, <laughs> okay. PWA apps? Could you run 
Yes, you can. So they like, yes, that. that's interesting. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they specifically yep. did call it PWA. You can run Win32, UWP, PWA. All those choices are available mm -hmm. if your apps fall into one of those six categories. Um, right. right. Yeah. You can, yeah, Chrome. You can run yeah. Chrome. Um, right. You, well, or, which makes sense. I, I, you know. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's fine. 